We want to create some cards with images and text and we will also create cards with padding, different sizes, borders, colors, gradients and so on. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with the build method and here you can create then a new card widget and inside of this card widget you can place any widget inside and we want to create here a new widget and I simply put here some text inside. And now we create this new widget and here inside we basically go to the build method and here we create a column. And of course you can also create this column directly here inside of the child widget so you don't need to create a new widget. And here within this column you can then create some text widget which are displayed here under each other so you can basically create any widget which you like to display within your card. And lastly we also want to add here some padding around our card so that our card looks here more beautiful. Therefore we go here back to our card widget and here our widget we want to wrap inside of a padding widget and then you can basically set here some padding, some space around your widget and I put here 12 pixels around to all sides in space. Next we want to change the color of our card and we also want to make our card here more rounded. Therefore you can go to your card and here you have a property which is called color and then you can set another color for your card. And secondly you can make your card rounded by supplying the shape and then you can set this rounded rectangle border. And here inside you set then a border radius and here I set a value of 16 and you see it is then more rounded and if you put your higher value inside then this card is even more rounded. And of course sometimes you also want to include some interaction inside of your card for example here this learn more button and this is also what we want to create. So basically we wrap here our current widget inside of a column so that we can display multiple widgets under each other and under our widget we want to display then another widget and therefore we create here this text button widget with the text learn more. And with this we also have here within our card a simple button and if you click on this then you can put here inside of this function your functionality inside what should happen if you click on this button. We also want to create here a gradient color for our card which consists then of two colors, a darker color and another color. And we also want to create here a shadow around our card. Therefore let's get started with our card widget and here you have the property shadow color and then you basically can set here a shadow color which is then displayed around your card. And to increase the shadow you also can set here then the elevation and the higher the value is the more shadow you have around your card. Next we also want to add a gradient to our card and therefore we can remove simply here our color. And then we want to go here to our padding widget or our container widget and here within this container you can then set a decoration and inside of this decoration you can then set a linear gradient and within this linear gradient you define then two colors so one color and another color. And you also need to define here then the alignment so we want to start the gradient at the top left corner which is at this position and we want to go with our gradient to the bottom right corner which is this position. And now if I hot reload you see that this indigo color is starting here at the top left corner which is here our beginning and the black color is then ending here at the bottom right corner so here we have the black color at the end. And in case you have here this decoration inside for our gradient then you see that our card is not rounded anymore even if we have supplied here a shape which should make our card rounded and therefore you also need to add here this property clip behavior and then you need to set it to anti alias and if you do this and hot reload you see our card is again rounded at the edges. Next we also want to integrate an image inside of our card and we also want to add here at the bottom again some buttons. And secondly we also want to create here another image and if you click on this image then you have here the splash effect. And by the way if you want to get here this whole source code of this application then you can get it with the first link in the description and with the second link you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Alright let's get started by creating this image with a text on top of this image. Therefore I create here a new card widget and inside of the child property we create a stack widget and with this we can display multiple widgets on top of each other and on the bottom we want to display first of all the image and here inside you define then a network image and also put here a link to your image inside 
And secondly, you also need to define then a height for this image. So we choose here 240 pixels and also make sure that you set here this box fit cover. And now we have here a simple card and inside of our card we have here an image from the internet. Since we also want to have a text on top of our image, we want to apply a gray filter to our image. And therefore we go here inside and then we create here a color filter and I set it then to this color filters grayscale and therefore I have created here another class with this color filter inside. And now if you hot reload, you have here this grayscale filter on top of your image. And we also want to click on our image to have here this cool splash effect. To achieve this, you go inside of your ink image widget and here inside you need to supply then the child property and here you set then an ink wheel inside with an on tap handler. And now we can click here on our image and then you see here the splash effect. And if you click on this image, you can also put here inside of this on tap handler, the functionality inside what should happen if you click here on this image. And on top of our image, we want to display then a text widget and therefore we go here inside of our stack. And after our image widget, we want to include then also a text widget. And now if I hot reload, you see we have here this text at the top left corner and you also can go to your stack and then you have here the property alignment. And if you set it to alignment center, then the text is also aligned in the center. To improve the design, you can also make your card again rounded and therefore you simply go again to your card widget and then you set here the shape and here you set then this rounded rectangle border with a border radius of 24 or some other value. And now if you hot reload, you don't see here this border because our image is blocking this and therefore you also need to set here the clip behavior and make sure that you put here this clip behavior to anti-alias. And with this, our card is then also again rounded. And lastly, we want to create here a more complex card with also text and also here some buttons at the bottom. And for this example, I have changed the image URL here inside and I also have removed the color filter. And now we want to wrap here around our whole stack a new widget, which is a column widget. And then we want to display here below our image stack also a text widget. And therefore we go here down after our stack widget and here we want to include then a text widget. And with this we have here a text widget, however you don't see here everything of the text because it can be also clipped if it is rounded and therefore it is always clever to set here a padding around so that you have some space around your text. And this looks already much better. And under our text we want to display then also a button and therefore we create here a button bar and inside of the button bar you can then put multiple text buttons for example inside. And now if I hot reload you see we have here the share button inside which is here our first text button and then we also have the learn more button which is here our second text button. And of course if you then click on these buttons then you can basically implement the functionality of these on pressed handlers. And if you like, you can also change the alignment so you can also set your buttons to the end of the card and therefore you have here this main axis alignment and can set it to end and with this our buttons are displayed here at the end. And lastly, in the design that we want to achieve, our text is then also displayed here at the bottom left corner. To change the position of our text, we simply go to our stack widget and here inside we have our image and then on top of our image we have here this text widget. And we want to simply wrap this text widget inside of a positioned widget. And then you can set here bottom, right and left. And I set here every time 16 pixels inside. And now if I hot reload, you see that our text is here 16 pixels away from the bottom, 16 pixels away from the left side and also 16 pixels away from the right side. And in case you set here this positioned widget, then you also don't need this alignment anymore. So you can simply remove it inside of your stack. So all in all, you have learned how you can create easily some cards with images and text and buttons and interactions. And also how you can change the background color of your card, how you can set a gradient and also how you can set a shadow for your card. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon, bye!